Hi, I'm your host, Terrence Budnick. What I'm about to tell you is the story of a man whose incredible life may not be familiar to some of you, but if you're a fan of motorsports, his name is legendary. The year is 1958. The place is the San Fernando Raceway, San Fernando, California. Sanctioned drag racing is in its infancy, but there's a major problem. That problem is safety. Every rule in the NHRA rulebook is written in somebody's blood. As dragsters go faster and faster, the risk grows greater and greater. Higher speed guarantees deadly problems with braking and maneuverability. The loss of life and limb on the strip is escalating, and something short of a miracle must be done before more lives are lost. The hazards were numerous, but on a one quarter mile track, the biggest problem was with the braking. And for dragsters, the standard braking system was, and still is, extremely insufficient. Something revolutionary had to be done. On the day of August 5th, one car launched down the strip at breakneck speeds, dangerously nearing the end of the track. But then, something radically different happened. The fans in the stands were stunned at the sight of a parachute blossoming out of the dragster's rear. A quiet but confident man strolled up to take a look at what he had created. That man was Jim Deist. And from that moment on, drag racing and motorsports of every kind would never be the same. Jim's brilliant innovations did not stop at putting chutes at the end of dragsters and funny cars, but his commitment to saving lives had no limitations. And to this day, that commitment is legendary. Drag racing wouldn't be what it is today because it would have been shut down with insurance. You know, there would be too many people that would got burnt or, or killed and they each saved hundreds and hundreds of lives, if not a thousand. And just drag racing wouldn't be around if it wasn't for Jim Deist, I'll tell you that right now. Jim uh, Deist uh, saved my life several times. Hi, Al. Um, as you saw in that video of the Crosley, if those chutes had not deployed, I wouldn't be standing here today. Thanks to Jim Deist uh, coming up with the safety innovations that we do have on the race cars today, um, I know there's a good chance I can crash at 300 miles an hour and walk away from this, this crash. Well, Jim Deist, he was probably the premier safety equipment manufacturer. The parachutes, uh, in the old days, the guys were running off the strips and were out running their brakes and everything like that, but, but Deist was the first guy to bring out the parachutes, the drag chutes, and he saved a lot of people, but I don't think there's anybody out there. You can see thousands of people, hundreds of cars, every one of them knows who Jim Deist is. And he saved lots of lives and was, like I said, the premier safety guy of the whole bunch. He started the whole generation of parachutes, drag chutes, and safety equipment, and the whole deal owes him a large debt. Slow these things down, you, you gotta use the best parachutes there are. I mean, you, you can't put a, you can't cheat on your life. I mean, brakes don't stop these cars. Not, not at all. You gotta have a good set of parachutes. I mean, Jim, Jim lived for his name. You know, and he had these behind it, and when, you know, to his his name was with parachutes, with safety. But he always wanted to make sure the driver felt safety. You know, just because it worked, you also have to feel that it works. When you when you push that lever, and you feel that thing blossom, and it throws your head down at where you're staring at the floor for an instant, that's the greatest feeling in the world. Of course, we had all of Jim's safety equipment. Well, on this particular pass, we finally figured out what we were doing with the clutch, <clears throat> and the car actually ran under the national record for funny cars on that pass. But something that never happened before happened at the end of that run. <clears throat> the car turned into a fireball about half the size of this room, and I was in the middle of that fireball. So I said, all the safety equipment that I was wearing at the time, Jim had made. But had I not had his stuff on, maybe I wouldn't be alive and I probably wouldn't be a physician. 
because it's hard to practice medicine when you're a crispy critter. Bob, I mean, Deist, you got to love him. The guy's, uh, you know, he was one of the first ones there and filled the need that we had to have. And hats off to Jim and all he's done over the years and all the lives he's protected and saved. And uh, to Jim Deist, congratulations. Most legends are hard to live up to. But with Jim Deist, his life and the countless lives he saved far outweigh the legend. And they say you don't tug on Superman's cape You don't spit into the wind You don't pull a mask off that old Lone Ranger And you don't mess around with Jim I don't